Hey guys, so <sighs> it's one o'clock and this is my first time vlogging for the day. I just have not felt like myself the past couple days. Anyway, something exciting happened today though. I received this in the mail and I'm really excited about it. It is from Influencer. They sent it to me for free for, you know, my honest review. It's by L'Oreal and it's the new curl sulfate free curl care system full of what your hair wants not what it doesn't and it says 100% sulfate free free of parabens free of harsh salt and dye free and I just opened it let me show you so these are pretty decent size sizes you know and it has coconut oil in it also it's vegan that's awesome anti-frizzing de definition i'm really excited and then this is a sculpt and hold cream gel i'm excited about that and then this is the conditioner hydro charge i'm really excited to try that because you guys know that i do wear my hair curly like in the summer so i'm excited to try it out I might be wearing my hair curly in the winter never know I'm, i am gonna open it and see how it smells Okay, so the first one that I opened was the conditioner, and we're just gonna smell. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Oh my gosh, I wish that you can smell through the screen, cause that smelled so good. I feel like with the, when you wash your hair, like your hair smells mainly like the like the conditioner if you wash that last. I was looking for a sulfate, a sulfate, a sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner because, uh, you know, it's not good for your hair, and I'm trying to do my, do be nicer to my hair, and all that. So this is the shampoo. It probably smells the same, but we're gonna try it anyway. It smells a little different. I don't know, but it still smells so good. Like I just wanna eat it, kind of. And then the gel has this stopper thing on it, I'm assuming. I can't really smell this, but I'm pretty sure it's probably smells just like the shampoo and conditioner. I'm excited to try this. Hi guys. So, I knew a day like this would come, but my baby hurt his eye. Close your eye. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, keep the ice on it so it doesn't get big. Oh god. So mm, G's on his way home. And okay, keep it on there, okay? You want me to put you want me to put something over it so it's not so cold? Yeah. Okay. Tell them what happened. So I was dancing my ball, so I just so high. But I I I slit my eye, but, but it was okay. Well, that's why. He was bouncing on this ball that you're supposed to sit on and bounce, and he must have tipped over, or he said bounce really high, and I was in the bathroom, like two feet away. It happened so fast, and I feel like a horrible mom, like of course. So big, so big. Okay, okay. So, G is on his way home, and we're about is to take he... him to urgent care. No, no. No, we're just gonna go to urgent care and, and make sure it's okay. Oh. Okay. And then we go to doctor. You wanna go to the doctor? No. Okay. The doctor. I just wanna give a quick update. We went to the doctor. I just took him to his pediatrician because I, even though, you know, he cut it near, on his eye, it didn't look deep enough for stitches. Sorry, it's dark and I'm in the car waiting for G. So anyway, we took him to the doctors. She said that it doesn't look like he needs stitches. She said it's good that it's in the crease of his eye because when it heals, you almost not even see it. She said that it, your face heals quickly and, um, she said not to be too worried about it not healing because it looks good it doesn't need stitches i said that she said to wait to put neosporin on which i don't understand why but she said to wait to put the neosporin on 
and then um start putting it on but she said he's definitely gonna have a black eye but she said it should be if he does get one she said it might not even be up here she said it might be down here and she did say that she said it'll be gone before santa comes that's what she told him i don't know if she just told him that to make him feel good or if she told him that because that's what's really gonna happen and here comes g so we're home now sorry about in the car we ordered food and i wanted to make sure that we had everything that we were supposed to have he seems okay now he fell asleep in the car when i was vlogging before he was asleep now he's awake and he's watching tv so thank you guys for watching i'm going to end the vlog here because i'm just drained right now i'm sorry that i cried on camera i don't like to do that but i was just very very upset it had just happened and that's that i will see you guys tomorrow in our next vlog bye